Alright guys, what's up? It's well, it's a big show here. And today, this will just be a recap video of Alabama versus Texas A&M. Yesterday, Alabama pulled off the 49-42 win over Johnny Manziel and Texas A&M Aggies. And it was a very, very hard-fought game by both teams. It looked like Alabama was going to pull away, but A&M made it a game, and eventually Alabama just proved they were too much for Johnny Manziel, even though Manziel had 562 total yards and five touchdowns. And just before I get into the recap, I just want to say sorry for the non-posting this weekend. Uh, I had a really busy weekend. Um, I went over to my dad's yesterday for the Alabama game, woke up late, had to work, um, had to mow the lawn and that stuff, and I had to set up for a block party, and then I had to watch the game and then go back to the block party. It was chaotic yesterday, so sorry about that. Uh, Yig will be up tomorrow, by the way, and uh, today I just wanted to... Uh, I've been wanting to do this, and I'm going to do this every week. It's going to be an Alabama recap video. This will just be like every sat Saturday or Sunday, m mostly Sunday. But um, this is just going to be my only videos on Sunday because I do watch NFL. So <coughs> uh, I just wanted to say that to you guys. But um, I'm just going to point out some things that I noticed in the game, and uh, we'll go from there. So... Um, where to begin, where to begin? Um, I mean, Johnny Manziel, I, I said how much I hate him. Uh, I still do. But, I mean, he he is really good. Um, I just can't believe what he did yesterday. Uh, it was just, damn, he's good. <laughs> um, 400, he was 28 for 39. 464 yards and five touchdowns. Uh, he and he also had 14 carries for 98 yards. He he was a beast yesterday. He was so much better than last year's game. And when they started out 14 nothing, I thought it was going to be like last year's game. I was like, oh god, here we go again. But Alabama, they forced turnovers. They did something they didn't do last year, and that was forced turnovers. And that's what ultimately won them the game. Jerry Williams had the nice tip pass, and then Cyrus Jones had the nice push off in the end zone to intercept Manziel, which was huge. Um, that was a huge part in the game. And uh, some things that didn't impress me, uh, the Alabama secondary. I know if you guys watch this game, oh, God, guys, we need some work to do. I mean... I don't, I don't, honestly don't get how they can be that bad. I mean, Mike Evans had 279 yards receiving. You, you got to be kidding me. I mean, it was like they were playing a high school defense. But uh, thank God Texas A&M's defense is horrible. Uh, our, our rush defense is great. I mean, we have Mosley up front, Pagan, um, Hubbard, DePriest. We have all these guys. And, uh, you know, we didn't, Molina and, uh, I forget who the other running back's name is. They didn't get anything. Manziel was the guy who graded the plays for them, um, and did everything he could to, uh, win the game for them. <coughs> uh, another thing that didn't impress me, Texas A&M's defense. Man, is that defense bad. Um, Yeldon, pulling up the stats right now, Yeldon was... Had 25 carries for 149 yards and a touchdown. <sighs> the funniest part of this game was probably when Yeldon scored and then did the money thing. Uh, that that was really funny. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that, but you guys should watch the game. If you didn't watch it already, look up the highlights on YouTube. It was a great game. Um, I'll put the highlights in the description. It was just a great game um, all around. Uh, I, I got to admit, I was scared. I thought we were going to lose again. Uh, but Alabama pulled off, pulled off the victory. We got Colorado State next week, and then we go to Ole Miss. Ole Miss comes to us. Uh, Ole Miss is good, but Colorado State isn't, so I'm expecting a win next week. And uh, a tough game week four, five. Uh, yeah. Oh. 
this is the yeah, week four. Of Sorry, I'm being stupid today. Uh, it's probably because my fantasy team got their ass kicked. But um, like I said, our defense, our secondary. I mean, you guys need to. I don't even know what you guys need to do. <laughs> you guys just need to practice more, I guess. You guys, uh, but uh, you can't. The thing that I was saying in my head was, yeah, I was mad at them, but when's the last time you had a good Alabama secondary? If you come to think about it, last year's wasn't that good either. So <laughs> that's what I had to say about that. Um, I just, um, yeah, but sorry if I'm losing my breath. I have a cold, so uh, trying to get over that. But, um, yeah, overall, it was a great game. And, uh, yeah, so next week, like I said, we have Colorado State. Um, Ye will be up tomorrow. I'm not sure what time. Um, hopefully I don't have a lot of work to do tomorrow. I probably won't, but still. Um, yeah, but um, I, I didn't say this already. The offensive line looked great. I mean, the offensive line, Justin Fowler, Kenyon Drake. I mean, I didn't even like Drake, and now I love him now. Until he fumbles the ball, which, speaking of fumbles, Yeldon. I mean, someone needs to crack him in the head. He has two clutch fumbles, two terrible fumbles. One at the goal line, I mean, that was a sin. That was to just make the game out of reach, and he couldn't do it, so. uh -oh. We had some stupid plays. They had some stupid plays. Uh, we had one turnover. They had two. But, um, yeah, like I, like I said, we pulled out the victory and uh, very thankful for that. But um, I'm going to go now. I'm going to watch the Seahawks and 49ers game. But, uh, guys, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And, like I said, you will be up tomorrow. And enjoy the last minute of this video. Thank you. Deep to return. Jones fields it at the 26. Brought down at the 42 yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Alabama is up seven. Deep up fakes. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 42. Give to the tailback. Got the corner. Nice run there as they work the outside. Here's a little pump fake. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. 